what up y'all it's your boy 17 and i'm gonna go over my audio chain real quick for my youtube recordings so before we dive into the chain itself i like to start from the hardware gear itself i got the moano i forgot what version this is but this is the moano audio mixer something that's budget friendly not too over the top and it has many great features you know that comes with it such as noise reduction you can add some sounds to the sound pad itself it also has phantom power and many other things but i haven't explored all of it yet so that's that first things first i like to start off with some room treatment by removing the echo that's in the room with this nvidia room echo removal i don't like to max this out but at the same time i don't like to keep it at the bottom so 0.9 is pretty ideal for me all right so next up in my chain i have obs's default expander these are my settings I do use a noise gate in the future, but not right now. Right now, we're just taming that initial background sound. And we have our noise gate. We are really clearing out that unwanted sound by adding a gate. So this means that anything below a certain threshold is being shut out, and anything that's above a certain threshold, like that negative 35 dB, anything above that is gonna trigger that gate to open. That way that sound can come through and then once we're done speaking, for example, it's gonna close that gate. So these are my settings and I love them. All right, so next up in my chain is the C2 compressor by FabFilter, but do not be fooled by all this. You don't need anything that's super expensive. OBS's default compressor is superb, trust me. But I, I'm an audio guy, so I like, I like to mess around with stuff. So threshold, negative 33 dB with a six to one ratio. I prefer that smooth, consistent sound. We have a fast attack and an automatic release. You don't, need, you don't need to worry about automatic release. If you don't have this feature on your compressor, go with a mid release or sort of a slow release. It's still gonna give you that consistent, smooth tone. Now with some of that squashing going down too, you wanna make sure you add a little bit of dB back to your sound. So I'm adding about 2.3 dB back to my sound. Not too much though, because I'm gonna use my limiter in the end to really boost things back up. Next on the chain, three band EQ. Mind you, I am somebody, you can see me right there. I use the proximity effect. I'm very close to my microphone. So that's gonna introduce a lot of low end sound. Sometimes it can be very unpleasant to the ear. So we're keeping that in mind. Starting with the lows, I have a deep voice. I have a very boxy voice. I'm going about negative four dB with the mids, same thing. Lows and mids, they live together. So I'm also taking about taking out about negative four dB with just a smidge boost in the highs at 0.3. I found that if I push to about one dB, it starts to sound a little weird and a little too brilliant and unnatural. So those are my three band EQ settings. All right, so the last thing in my chain, disregard all that. The last thing <laughs> for my threshold, I got that set to about negative nine dB. And for the output, I got that set to a ceiling of negative five dB. So anything that tries to push beyond that point, Loud Max is gonna do a great job of not allowing that audio to push beyond that. And what's great is, first off, this is free. And two, it does a great job of handling clipping. So I advise you to get this plug in. Like go get it now before the world decides to do something crazy and put a price on this bad boy. But that is my audio chain. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much my audio chain. If you want me to dive into the very specific details of how I do everything and how I route everything, uh, let me know, leave a comment below and I will gladly uh, try to get a video out there for y'all. But your boy 17 is out. Y'all go check out the videos on the channel. I'll catch y'all next time. Ah, uh, y'all.